Hello there, pretty people. I am Jackson Pierce, author of Purity, which very recently released in the UK. And to celebrate its release, I am here on Books with Bite to tell you my top 10 high school movies. Making this list was not as easy as I expected. I spent kind of a ridiculous amount of time putting the movies in order, so yeah. All right, here we go. Number 10, Juno. Now I know some people are gonna be a little bit antsy about the fact that Juno got the number 10 spot rather than the number one spot. And I get that, people love Juno. Like people really love Juno. And I do think it's really funny and I like it a lot, but I do not think it is very reflective of actual high school. So that's why it is relegated to number 10. Number nine, 10 things I hate about you. It has baby Heath Ledger in it and you know, I don't even need to explain this. I don't have to explain this. No, no way. Number nine, 10 things I hate about you. It's awesome. Number eight, Whip It, which means Ellen Page is dominating the back of my list. I really, really liked Whip It, even though very little of it actually takes place at school, but I love the way they portrayed the main character's relationship with their mother because that's basically me and my mom always. Number seven, Dead Poet Society. I really enjoy Dead Poet Society. I like so much about it. I don't think it's perhaps plotted in the best way sometimes, but I don't, I don't care because it's so like uplifting and you know, there are bagpipes in the soundtrack and it just makes me like feel in my feely place. That sounds obscene. Number six, The Breakfast Club. I don't know, screws fall out all the time. The world's an imperfect place. Number five, Pleasantville. Okay, so not that many people have actually seen Pleasantville. It was a small movie. It came out a while ago, I think in like 96 or so, and it, it wasn't like a blockbuster hit or anything. But it is actually my hands down favorite movie across the board. Everything about that movie to me exemplifies what being a teenager is and being an adolescent is, and in a lot of ways just what being a person is. It's a movie about trying to be something you're not and then trying so hard to be something that you are. And it's a movie about music and love and art and doing the right thing versus doing the easy thing. It's kind of a gimmicky sounding movie, but it is fantastic. This has been your Pleasantville themed PSA. Number four, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This is a fantastic movie. If this movie, if I'm like scanning through the television, just, you know, channel surfing like you do, and this movie comes on, I will sit on my couch and watch it to the end of the movie. It does not matter if I have something to accomplish in my life that day. I have sat on my couch in a towel and watched the last hour of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Number three, Saved. Saved is a little bit like Pleasantville in that it's one of those movies that not a lot of people saw. Saved is about a very, very religious good girl who uh, winds up pregnant in high school. Suddenly she's kind of forced to reassess how she sees good people and bad people and sort of figure out that everybody is kind of a shade of gray in the end. I kind of just gave it away, except I didn't really give it away. You should, you should watch it. You should really watch it. Number two, Easy A. Finally, a movie that a lot of people saw. I love Easy A. I love the way it deals with sexuality. I love the way it just deals with sort of friendship in general. My dream has always been that Purity will get made into a movie and it'll be part of a box set with Easy A and Saved. It'll be like the three of them and you can buy them all. Stay tuned because that is not likely to happen, but it still is, you know, a dream. And my number one high school movie is obviously Mean Girls. There is nothing that I dislike about Mean Girls. It is the perfect movie. It is hilarious. It is so true in every way. Also, it is one of the most quotable movies ever. I could probably sit here for like 10 minutes and just do Mean Girls quotes. I won't because, you know, you probably have something to do, but I, I could. All right, there you have it, my top 10 high school movies. Thank you so much for watching. And again, Purity has been released in the UK and I'm extremely excited about it. And I hope you get the chance to read it. Remember that you can visit me online at jacksonpierce.com or on Twitter at at jacksonpierce. And on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Okay, bye.